Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jamin, your host of Jamin's Daily. Today we're going to talk about Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Went and saw the sequel the other day and I liked it. Been watching some of the reviews. They've been kind of mixed. But I have to say that it was really good. Uh, it, it keeps kind of the same... Uh, themes and if you've seen the first one you'll recognize I mean it, it fits they things are have changed in a way along with the story you know the whole story's changed but the the creativity like the mindset you know Tim Burton is the one who's putting this together he's the director and you still get the whole Beetlejuice original feeling in the sequel they don't just completely reimagine and change it which is good now there there is a big difference in the sense that back then there was a lot of uh, stop motion animation and other more practical practical means of creating the um the effects for the movie. Well, now for the sequel, it's all CGI. The majority, if not all of it, is is CGI. And I agree. It it, it what it really does is date the original. It, it makes it look like oh, an '80s movie. And when you watch the new one, it's crisp. CGI is great. And, but you can tell. And the cool thing is that that's going to be a defining and a viewer's choice in terms of the difference and kind of what makes the original now also, you know, a cult classic and just kind of a nostalgia driver in the sense that you don't get the CGI. You have to see the stop motion and stuff like that, which just adds its own appeal to the movie if you ask me but the new one with the cgi i think it was done well and it basically did what the original beetlejuice was trying to do but with with cgi now and the craziness the you know over the top art artistic uh just setups are similar to the original, they're elaborate. You know, the people who put this together must be on drugs or something because it's far out. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed my. Hey, I would give it. You know, five stars being the best, I'd give it three and a quarter stars. It's worth going to the movies. Jenna Ortega, who I have heard of but never seen any in anything. Is in the movie. She plays uh, Win Win Winona Ryder's daughter, Winona Ryder, who is Lydia Deet, who could see uh, dead people in the sequel. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but she's kind of like a clairvoyant and has a mo a, a TV show. And um, Jenny Jenna Ortega is embarrassed by it and. You know, she's kind of disgruntled, and, and you see, but they all get together, and it's all big happy ending. And the, all the actors in the movie did a did a great job. It was great acting. So you don't. Uh, Justin Thoreau nails it. Catherine O'Hara nails it. So you got to give it a try. Check it out, Beetlejuice. We did one of those Alamo Draft House. Um, watch parties so we got some real cool swag they have a little you know mc who's talking about things prior to the movie and so that was a blast i put up some photos but until the next time folks stay tuned like share subscribe jamin your host jamin's daily coming with a couple of movie reviews on the go to the next time best is yet to come